Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over the differences between mic level and line level. When working in professional audio, you'll deal with a lot of different types of signals coming in and out of all kinds of different gear, whether it comes from a microphone or maybe some other gear that you have or an instrument that you have. Understanding the type of output that it has and being able to take that output into something else's input and knowing the correct level to have your devices set at is key to making sure that your gain staging is correct coming from the analog world. There's four different types of levels that we're going to go over today. Mic, instrument, line, and speaker levels. We're not going to go too deep into each of them, but we're going to touch on them just a little bit. And I did them in that order because that's the different levels from lowest to largest that we're actually going to be talking about. So let's start off and talk about mic level. Mic level is the first one, and it actually is the lowest level that we're going to talk about when it comes to audio signals. There's a reason that mic level signals need to go into a preamp of some kind, whether it be on a USB mixer like this one, an interface to get into your computer, or into an outboard mic pre. It can be any one of those because it's a mic pre built into all of that different gear. So let's talk about the level itself. The level coming out of any microphone, whether it be a dynamic like this, a condenser microphone of any kind, or even ribbon microphones, PZMs, there's lots of different kinds of microphones. Any kind of signal is going to be measured in relative volts, whether it be dBV, which is direct voltage, or dBU, which is the RMS voltage of that line. So for microphones, you're generally looking at anywhere within the range or outside of the range of minus 60 to minus 40 dBU. So that's an average voltage coming off of the microphone. Some microphones are hotter, some microphones are lower, and that's why there's just this big range of the voltages coming off of different microphones. So even just from that, minus 60 to minus 40, that's still really low microphones need a preamp to get the signal up to a usable volume and voltage when it we're working in the analog world. So let's talk about the next step up from mic level and now we're going to move on to instrument level. When we talk about instrument level we're generally talking about stuff coming off of like an electric guitar or an electric bass. The signal coming off of these also needs some kind of preamp to get the levels up to a usable voltage. So you'll see on a lot of interfaces that there will be an instrument input on the front or back or somewhere on the different types of interfaces that are out there. These inputs also use the preamps inside those interfaces. They just make a handy little quarter inch input for you because they're generally looking for some type of electric guitar or electric bass to go into them. The voltage is a little stronger than mic level is, so that's why it's instrument level and it's a different input. But it's still going to go into that preamp to bump it up to our next level. As we've already said, everything is measured with volts, so a line level signal is approximately one volt. That's it give or take a little bit here and there, but line level is the equivalent of one volt in the analog world. So where does line level come in? Well, line level comes in after the preamp. The preamp gets your mic or instrument level up to line level so that you can then continue to use other outboard gear, other mixing consoles, or to be able to send it to an amplifier to push out from speakers. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Now let's talk about some of the different kinds of line level. Now they are still line level, so it is still one volt, but you'll generally see two different kinds of line levels out there and you'll see them marked. Let's go over one of the first kinds of line level signals and that's a minus 10 dBV signal. You'll see this on a lot of consumer grade electronics. Um, when we used to have CD players at home and they would have the line out, that was measured at minus 10 dBV. You'll also see on some equipment, even in the studio, it can accept a minus 10 dBV line level signal into it. Some of your outboard gear may be able to handle this. 
Now let's talk about a more professional version of line level signals, and that is plus four dBU line level signals. This is something you'll more commonly see in the recording studio and on professional outboard gear and analog equipment and mixing desks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is using the plus four dBU scale, like we said, and it's using the dBU scale because audio signal fluctuates. Uh, right now, my mic is fluctuating with the volume of my voice. So that's why it uses the dBU scale. There's a lot of up and downs that are going on. Where with the dBV scale, it gives the room for the fluctuations, but it's really measuring on voltages as opposed to just the average volts with the dBU scale. So what does this actually mean? Well, when you're taking your mic and you're plugging it into your preamp, and let's say you have a nice rack of 500 gear. So you have your mic, goes into your preamp. Out of the preamp, you get a line level signal. And maybe you want to compress that signal. You then take an output of the preamp, line level, and this could be by an XLR jack or by any other type of connection but the signal level is line level. So you come out of the preamp into the compressor. The compressor is looking for line level in. Then out of your compressor, still at line level, you continue down your analog path to eventually what will become, let's say, the amplifier. And that leads us into the next and last signal that we're going to talk about today, and that's speaker level. Before we get into speaker level, a word of warning though, you do not want to take a line level signal and plug it into a preamp. You could do a lot of damage. There's a reason why sometimes when maybe mistakes happen, you'll plug something line level into a preamp and immediately it's way too loud. Adversely, that's also why you can't really take a microphone and plug it, let's say, straight into a compressor. The compressor is looking for a stronger line level signal, not a really low mic level signal. Now let's think about where speaker level comes in. This is going to be coming line into an amplifier of some sort. Maybe you have powered speakers or monitors inside your studio. Going into the back of those powered monitors is a line level signal. Then inside, there's speaker level coming off of the crossover and the amplifier that is inside those monitors, then feeding the speakers themselves. What the amplifier is actually doing is taking that line level signal, which is about one volt, and bumping it up to give or take, and this varies a lot depending on the amplifier and a lot of other factors, but up to 10 volts or more, maybe less, but definitely way more than 10. Speakers need to be able to move, so they need way more voltage to create that movement of the dynamic speaker that's in there. So speaker level is much higher than line level. Line level is higher than instrument level, and instrument level is higher than microphone level. That's why earlier in the video we said the four types of levels we're going to talk about today are mic, instrument, line, and speaker. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in a comment, and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.